शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार परमाद्याम जगद्व्यापिनीणा पुस्तकधारिणी अभयदाम जाढ़्यांधकारापहा हस्ते स्फाटिक विदधती पद्मासने संस्थिता वंदे तां परमेश्वरी भगवती बुद्धि प्रदा शारदा नवा सरस्वती देवी शुद्धा गुम्याम कौम्यहम पाणिनीय प्रवेशाय लघु सिद्धांत कौमुदी so we were looking at hal sandhi prakarana and we finished the sutra kharavasana or visarjaniya whereby in the derivation of samskarta we got these two forms samskarta with a uh, with an anuswara and with a uh, anunasika both forms are valid forms with an anunasika here samskarta or samskarta which is the other form with uh anunasika and anus anuswara with an anuswara now this sutra again it will be dealt with in the visarga uh, sandhi this is in passing he has covered it to derive the uh, this form further we were we looked at the form that we get is through sampunkanam suvaktavya sam pum and kan there are three entities in this samasa you see it is a plural so there are not not two entities i may have not mentioned yesterday but this kan is also existing so yesterday we looked at sam sam uparsarga with that sam uparsarga it's an apavada to a sutra which is going to come further there will be visarjani sa and then uh, later there is there will be a uh, an apavada to that and uh, uh, apavada that will make it a it a it an option it will make a vibhasha and therefore this uh, uh, sakara adesh otherwise you would have got visarga optionally sakara optionally or visarga optionally but this uh, vartika says that sam pum kanam when sam pum and kan these three entities exist there sah vaktavya that sah should be mentioned sakara should be an adesha which is not an option to visarga it will always be a sakara here therefore samskarta or sauskarta these are the forms next sutra deals with the pum uh, here you have some pum so pum khayam pare or rather this uh, vartika is based to deal with these uh, all the sutra which is coming uh, further which are coming further pum khayam pare is also uh, included there pum is dealt with and apavada to that or rather what happens in case of pum also is mentioned here in uh, in the vartik in the vartika so pumakhayam pare is the next sutra pumah khai ampare so the padacheda is pumah khai 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 ampare ampare khai am is a pratyahara and ampara is a samasa so ampara am parah yasmat am paraah yasmat uh, so here you see pum is what here pum is uh, just second uh, i think yeah, kharavasan visarjaniya i meant uh, this sutra visarjaniya se sa will will be dealt with later not kharavasan or visarjaniya i uh, just jump the gun there so pumakhayam pare says am pare khai am pare khai this khai so uh, am parah yasmat am pare khai means what that khai khai letter that letter which is included in the khai pratyahara which uh, which is what kind of a khai it is an am para khai means uh, am is following that khai letter so the situation would be what there is a khai and there is an am so this khai is ampara khai now ampare khai what happens pum pumaha ru so pum should precede that so that pum which is followed by a khai which is followed by an am that's the meaning here ampara yasmat yasmat khaya ha sah khai sah khai ampara ampara ha 
एंड दैट अंपर तस्मिन अंपरे तस्मिन अंपरे इन सप्तमी व्हेन दैट कैन ऑफ एन अंपर खे फॉलोस दैट इज समास देयर सो व्हाट व्हाट इज दिस पुमह 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 इज द स्थानी तो पुम इज द स्थानी पुमह खै सप्तमी एक वचन अंपरे खै देयरफॉर दैट्स एन एडजेक्टिव टू खै व्हाट विल हैपन फॉर पुम पुमह अंपरे खै पुमह रुहु रुहु आदेश भवति सो रु इज द आदेश रु एंड रु आदेश इज फॉर व्हाट फॉर पुम फॉर द एंटायर पुम नो अलोंत्यस्य बाय अलोंत्यस्य ओनली मकारा विल बी रिप्लेस सो व्हाट विल हैपन दिस पुम मकारा विल बिकम अ रु so pum will become puru so example given is pum's kokila so pumascha so kokilascha is the example there pum sorry pum cha asau karma dharya asau kokilascha what will happen does anyone know what is the pratipadika for pum puman actually not pum we pumancha so kokilascha so not pum it will decline as puman not pum puman pumancha so kokilascha what is the pratipadika for puman does anyone know pratipadikam is pums pums is the pratipadika so pums plus su बिकॉज इट्स अ कर्म धारे पुम्स प्लस सू प्लस कोकिल कोकिल प्लस सू प्रातिपदिक संज्ञा इट विल गेट कृत सामसाश्च देन सुप्लोक सुप्लोक विल हैपन बिकॉज विदिन द विदिन अ धातु और विदिन अ प्रातिपदिक विच एवर सुप्रत्यय प्रत्यय एक्जिस्ट दैट विल अंडर गो लोप इट विल गो अंडर गो एलिजन देर बाय वॉट विल हैपन you will be left with pums and kokila pums kokila this is a samasa this is a pratipadika samasa what will happen now pums and kokila pums is basically this uh, pums is pums this is what it is there is a this anuswara between anuswara and sakara there is a sandhi there is a uh, it's a conjunct it's a conjunct con uh, ending with a conjunct so therefore संयोगांत से लोप सो संयोगांत से लोप विल सकारा विल गो अवे एंड यू विल गेट संयोगांत से इट्स अ पद पुम प्लस सू इज अ पद समास इज बिटवीन टू पदम सो पुम प्लस पुम्स प्लस सू इज अ पदम कोकिल प्लस सू इज अ पदम बोथ पुट टुगेदर इज अ प्रातिपदिकम ऑल दिस फोर पुट टुगेदर इज अ प्रातिपदिकम नाउ पुम्स प्लस कोकिल इज अ प्रातिपदिकम बट पुम्स एंड कोकिल बोथ नॉट कोकिल कोकिल बोथ आर वॉट Although ऑल दो प्रत्यय लोप हेज हेपन स्टील प्रत्यय लोपे प्रत्यय लक्षण देर बाय पद संज्ञा इज स्टील देर पुम्स इज अ पदम कोकिल इज अ पदम ऑल दो पुम्स कोकिल इज अ प्रातिपदिक देर फोर पुम्स बीइंग अ पदम इट इज अ संयोगांत पद इट इज अ पद विच हेज अ संयोग इन इट्स एंड देर फोर वॉट विल हेपन संयोगांत से लोप बाय संयोगांत से लोप संयोगांत लोप वी हेव सीन दिस सूत्र संयोगांत से लोप होती सो दिस सकार विल अंडर गो लोप देर फोर यूल गेट पुम प्लस कोकिल नाउ दिस पुम प्लस कोकिल बिकॉज दिस अनुस्वार कैनॉट रिमेन हैंगिंग नाउ इट हेज टू बिकम मकारा इट हेज बिकम मकारा एंड पुम कोकिल वॉट हैपन्स नाउ पुम को फॉर पुम कोकिल नाउ अवर सूत्र इज एप्लीकेबल नाउ पुम खई अम परे नाउ दिस सिचुएशन इज दैट यू हैव पुम यू हैव Makara, sorry, pu. Then makara is there. Mak makara is pum makara. So puma ha pum condition is satisfied. Then there is kakara. Kakara is what is a khai letter because khai is second and first of the class. Kakara is the first of the class. Therefore, it is antargata in khai khai pratyara. What is okara? Okara is antargata in am pratyara. So am para. So this. Kakara is an ampara kakara, ampara khai. Therefore, puma ha ampare khai. What will happen? You will get and there is this is kila. 
So I am just splitting it. So Sandhi is between these now. What will happen is Puma, Pumaha Ru Bhavati. Therefore, you will get Puru. You will get from Puru, Puru Kokila. So this is what has happened now by Puma Khayam Pare. Further, what now what will happen is Puma Khayam Pare Puru Kokila. Now, what we have seen is this Vartika Sampunka Nam So Vakta Veha. How? Because now what will happen with Ru? Ru what will happen? Ru Ru will with Kha. See before this, the sutra that we saw is what we started from. Sorry, not here, not that far back. So in Samasuti we saw that we started with Samasuti, and in Samasuti context we saw that. Samkarta, here also it becomes Saru and then Saru, what did we see? We saw these two sutras, Atra Anunasika Purvasya Tuva or when Anunasika is not made then Anunasika Paraha, instead of Anunasika you have to have an Anuswara where preceding room, therefore one of these two will apply, either you will get now in Pum, after, after room has happened, when room when Puma, uh, here you as soon as you apply Ru, as soon as you apply Ru, then either you will get this, this Ru is Refa. So either you will get this or you will get what? Kokila or you will get Pur Kokila. So one of this, either you will get an Anunasika or you will get an Anuswara. So these are the two optional forms because Ru as soon as you Atra Ru Prakarani in the Ru Prakarana entire you don't have to go back to the Sutra as soon as in the Ru Prakarana as soon as although it is in Tripadi as soon as there is a Ru Adesha then that Ru Adesha should either be preceded by an Anunasika or an Anuswara. Therefore you will get one of these two forms. Pungkokila uh, this Repa, so I, I don't want to pronounce this because it is still not a Pada, it is difficult to pronounce as well, therefore you got these two uh, forms now. Now what happens to Repa, Repa Visarjan, uh, Repa, uh, Repa will become, Repa will become uh, Sakara, uh, it, will, it will become uh, actually not Sakara, Kharavasani or Visarjani, it will become Visarjaniya and that Visarjaniya now, Visarjaniya optionally uh, can become Vashari by Vashari Sutra, same issue that we faced in the earlier Sutra example, Sanskarta there that Repha will become, Repha will become Visarga. So you will get Kokila here, actually I am just leaving space, there is no space in between, for clarity I am leaving space, actually it is, it will be like this. So let me write it that way. So it will be, Sarga, see this you cannot even pronounce, how will you pronounce this, Am followed by Visarga, you can't even pronounce, therefore this is in Prakriya Vastha, still undergoing changes, so I am just writing it, either you will get an Anunasika or an Anuswara, now what will happen is that this, uh, this is by what, Kharavasane or Visarjaniya, these two are why by Atra, Atra Anunasika, Atra Anu, Nasika Purvasya Tuva Purvasya Tuva by this you got the first form or you apply Anunasikat Anunasikat Paraha Paro Nuswaraha Paro Nuswaraha so one of these two will apply and you will get these two optional forms this is by our current sutra this is by Pumak Khayyam Pare. This is our interest here. Pumak Khayyam Pare. Sorry, Khayyam Pare. So, 
So this is the sutra of our interest. We have covered this. However, how do you land the form now? Then these two forms you have got with here. Kharavasanayor Visarjaniyaha. Thereby you got Visarga. Now this Vartika which says what? Pum, uh, sampum, sampum kanam, sampum kanam, so vaktavya. Therefore, purva apuvada by the vartika, it says, here you should either get this pum, pums kokila. So, that makes the sakara adesha as nitya instead of vibhasha. Either you get pums kokila, pums kokila or pums kokila. So this is the form and once you decline it, you will get Kokila. So I will add it earlier itself. So we all know that uh, the Pada ha has to be, uh, Pratipadikam has to be declined. So I will just hear itself, I will decline it. So these are the two forms. So that covers the second part of the Vartika. So this is by Vartika. Va Vartika, which is what? Sampum. Actually, it should be Sampum. Sampum Kanam. That's how it would be. Sampum Kanam. So, Vaktavya. So, by this Vartika, we got this Pum Skokila or these, these two forms. Now, next Sutra, it deals with Chau, what happens when, here we dealt with uh, Khai, Khai what happens, when Khai follows. Now when Chau follows, uh, Chai, Chau follows, subset of that, even further subset of Khai, uh, an Apuada to uh, some, in some scenario, Ampare, Ampare Chavi and so far we are dealing with various situations as to what follows what, but here, now this not Makara, but Nakara. Nakara is the Sthani here. So, the next Sutra says, Naschavya Prashan. Naschavya Prashan says what? Naha Nakarasya. Nakarasya meaning Nantasya. Nakarantasya. Nakarantasya. Naschavya. Naha. Chavi Aprashan. These are the three Padas. Naha is Shashti. Ek vachana, chavi is saptami ek vachana. So naha, nakara is thani there, nakara as in nakara anta padam. It will take uh, and what kind of uh, naha? Aprashan. It should not be of prashan shabda. Prashan is a uh, so aprashan here, uh, aprashan here, it's a um, just a second, aprashan it would be. Uh, what does he say? Padasya, Naha Padasya. Hmm. Because it should be a Lukta Shakti Nirdesha, I think. A Prashan, it is Shakti Prathama. Okay, Shakti Arte Prathama. So, although it is Prathama, it appears to be Prathama, but it is Shakti Ekvachana. Lukta Shakti Nirdesha. What is called as a Shakti is Lukta here. It is, it should be understood as Shakti, although it is said as. Uh, prathama in Prathama, it is in Samana Dekaran with Naha. Therefore, it, it should be understood as Shashti. In some sutra, you will see that there is a uh, sup look happens. So, the sup which is added here, the Pratya, uh, which is the Nyas Pratya, uh, Nyas Os Aam, that Shashti Ekvachan Pratya has undergone look in the sutra itself. So, it, should, it is called as something in sutra where you see the form is not, uh, see, Aprashan, Aprashan itself, Prashan, what is this Prashan? Prashan is that, uh, that word Prashan, the Shabda Prashan, and Nanj is Na Prashan, Aprashan. Now, how do you decline this? How do you decline this in, so to, for clarity, he has kept it that way, and in Sampradha, it is explained as uh, Lukta Shashti Nirdesha, so Prashan Shabdasya. He says Ampare, so uh, the Yaksha will make it clear, Ampare Chavi, that Chav which is followed by Am. So, the, you have other words also here, Ru is the Adesha, earlier also there is Ru here. See here we just saw uh, 
पुम खई अंपरे अंपरे किम भवति अंपरे रू आदेश भवति सो रू इज दी अनुवृत्ति रू इज कंटिन्यूइंग टिल द ट्वेल्थ सूत्र ऑफ दी ऑफ एट थर्ड पाद ऑफ एट चैप्टर सो हियर ऑल्सो यू हैव रू नच्छव्य प्रशांत किम भवति रू भवति रू आदेश एंड नॉट ओनली दैट नच्छवी अंपरे इज ऑल्सो फॉलोइंग अंपरे अंपरे रू भवति सप्तमी एक वचन अंपरे इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द अर्लियर सूत्र इज 837 वी सॉ 836 हियर इन दिस अंपरे द वर्ड अंपरे कंटिन्यूज फर्दर एज अनुवृत्ति इनटू द नेक्स्ट सूत्र सो अंपरे छवि किम भवति व्हेन अ छव व्हिच इज फॉलोड बाय अम दैट काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन एग्जिस्ट देन दिस नांत पद दिस सिचुएशन इज हियर न यू हैव अ नांत पद नांत पद नांत पद इज फॉलोड बाय व्हाट नांत पद इज फॉलोड बाय अ छव बाय छव लेटर व्हिच इज इन टर्न फॉलोड बाय एन अम अर्लियर वी सॉ व्हाट वी सॉ मकारा दिस मकारा व्हिच मकारा द सिचुएशन इज पुम पुम मकारा शुड फॉलो इज नॉट फॉलो पुम मकारा इज स्थानी दैट टेक्स एन आदेश एन खय व्हिच इज इन टर्न फॉलोड बाय अम in this situation pum will take ru here when na na is nanta pada nanta padam nanta padam exists and nanta padam is followed by a chav which in turn is followed by am then what will happen this nanta padam meaning nakara of at the end of the pada will take ru adesha ru syat padasya nantasya padasya ru syat and padasya ru means what not the entire pada alo alontyasya by alontyasya only the nakara at the end of that pada is to be replaced but what kind of nanta padam this should be an aprashan it should not be prashan not be prashan shabda is prashan is a nakaranta shabda so this should be aprashan aprashan it should not be a nanta aprashan aprashan nanta padam let's put it earlier here as aprashan nanta pad aprashan nanta padam that's how it should be that is followed by chav which is in turn followed by am in that situation this nanta padam will nakara meaning nakara of the nanta pada will take ru so am pare chavi nantasya padasya ru padasya ru bhavati natu prashan shabdasya prashan shabdasya nakara antasya prashan shabdasya ru adesha na bhavati so what is the example here it continues visarjaniyasya sa uh, so ap here he takes the example chakrin strayaswa so there is a chakrin strayaswa he chakrin the example is he chakrin chakrasya asti iti chakri so he and sambodhana will be what he chakrin he chakrin strayaswa strayaswa means protect me lot lakara madhya purush ek vachan so please protect me so he strayaswa what will happen here this chakrin is a nakaranta padam what is this nakaranta nakaranta padam this chakrin is not prashan obviously it is not prashan now it is followed by ta takara trayaswa uh, is takara and refa there is a conjunct which is takara so takara is following takara is what kind of pada it is a chav chav is what see what is chav chav is uh, in the last sutras you have khapa Khapa, cha, tha, thau, and then khapa chhata tha, chhata thau, khapa chhata tha, chhata tha, chhata thau. So this entire thing ending with wa, but not starting with kh. What is it starting with? See, actually the sutra khapa chhata tha, chhata thau, and then there is a sutra kapai, kapai. this these two sutras these two sutras put together make the second and the first of the class these five make the first of the class these five first five make the second of the class now in the second of the class look at the, way, the beauty in which it is the sutras are made kh is the second of the class right but kh is the second of the class of ka varga similarly this this sutra if you divide it here if you divide the sutras the midway and you say these first five are the second of the class and these second five are the first of the class then forget yakara forget vakara here 
obviously they are if letters so ch is the ch varga but kh is not the ch varga it has been reorganized in such a manner that kh here is ka varga second and ka here at the somewhere placed towards the end is the uh, first of the ka varga so first of the ka varga is here let me just mark it for clarity so that we can ka and second of the first ka varga is here sorry second of the ka varga is here now pa varga pa varga first of the pa varga is here whereas pa pa second of the pa varga is here now again i made a instead of control v i had done control v sorry so i wanted to mark it as uh, bold now you look at what is chau chau is starting from here and ending here so thereby he is very nicely taken away these two towards the end so he has taken away the ka uh, varga and pa varga first and second of the class thereby you are left with chatat chatath chatatav now what is this ta here in trayaswa that is very much a chau letter therefore when a chau letter follows and what is that chau letter followed by this is he chakrin trayaswa in that chakrin nakara is there so we'll keep the entire chakrin nakara uh, the word itself and takara and refa then ayaswa i'll just split it this way now this takara is a chau what is refa refa is very much part of am ayun relook a ung ai au chaya varat lan nyamagananam so nyamagananam till there it is there and refa is what haya varat in that sutra itself it is refa is covered therefore refa is an am and takara is what takara is a chau which is takara is a chau which is followed by a refa which is an am both of these are following in sequence sequentially this nakara which is an aprashan padanta nakara therefore the sandhi is invoked now between these three and thereby you get the adesha of ru ru is the adesha so you will get chakrin what chakrin chakri ru chakri nakara gets this as chakri ru once you get chakri chakri ru what will happen chakri ru immediately this has to be preceded by either an anunasika or an anuswara therefore you will get either of these you will get chakri with an anuswara or chakri ru trayaswa so these are the two optional forms now right chakri ru uh, <coughs> these two forms now uh, i mean forms as in while deriving now what will happen now he says we already dealt with the sutra earlier in derivation he introduces the next sutra as visarjaniya sya sah but before that of course we have seen another sutra this ru will not happen visarga it has to happen visarga now here uh, and the sutra that we already seen is what uh, ru which is followed by khari uh, kharavasanayo visarjaniya takara is a khar letter this chau itself is included in khar therefore you will get chakrin ru refa will become what it will become chakrin sak it will become visarga it will become visarga kharavasane or visarjaniya when khari khar letter is following here therefore you will get this form trayaswa or you will get the other form of this ru will be replaced by visarga here ru is refa actually ru is refa here i i'll take this away so that to avoid confusion chakrin trayaswa refa it is only refa entire ru is not the adesha i'll just mention here it is ru ru is the adesha our sutra this is our sutra current sutra nashavya prashan ru by what nashavya prashan
Nashtravya Prashan Hu. And Ampare, of course. Ampare Chavi. So this is our sutra and then Visar Khari, Kharavasane or Visar Janiya. Janiya, this has made Visar, this root, Visar Janiya Kasya, Roho. So Roho Visar Janiya Bhavati, thereby uh, this Ru has been re Ru Refa has been re re is replaced by Visarga. Now, what should happen to that Visarga is dealt in the next sutra, which says, which says Visarjaniyasya Saha. Visarjaniyasya Saha Adesha Bhoti. Sakara Adesha Bhoti. Visarjaniyasya Shashti Ekvachana Saha is Akara is Ucharanarte. Is Saha. In akara in sa, it is actually sakara, but to, for pronunciation a is added, it is visharjanisya saha adesha It is not shashti ekvachana, obviously, it is uh, akara is ucharanarthi. So, uh, khari, and he says khari, khari as in, in the example, khari, visharjanisya saha. Uh, just let me show you the sutra here, 8334. See 8334. 8334, what is happening here? Visarjaniya sir, we have seen earlier. Visarjaniya sir has no, you don't see any anurti here. Visarjaniya sir, but then there are these apavadas here, Sharpare Visarjaniya and Vashari. So this Vashari, considering that this Vashari is coming up, there was this Purva Apavada in Vartika as Sampunkana So Vaktavya. This was a Purva Apavada to this Sutra which is going to come up, Vashari, which was going to make this uh, Visarjaniya Sisha as, an, uh, as a Vibhasha by Va, when Shar letter follows. Now what is being dealt with is this Sutra Visarjaniya Sisha, which we already applied in earlier Sutras. Visarjaniyasya, this Visarga which is there, now what happens? It will take, uh, just a second, Kharya Usaniyo Visarjaniya. Yeah, Visarjaniya. So what is going to happen is, here, Khari Chakrin Strayasva. Let me see uh, something else is there in this. Khari, uh, yeah, so Khari, Kharpare, uh, so what does it say? Khari means what? Kharpare. Kharavasanya Visarjaniya in that Ekadesha Swarita due to some Swara, only Khari is going to come here. Visarjaniya says, Saha, Kadabhavati, he says, when Khari, so here this Khari says that it has come from earlier, there is Khari here. Khari, which is Saptami Ekvachana. From which sutra? Kharavasani or Visarjaniya. Kharavasani or Visarjaniya. It's a little difficult to scroll back on this. See, in this sutra. You see, Kharavasani or Visarjaniya and Visarjaniya marked here goes till 16 here. This is the next sutra. But here, Khari is coming over. What This is what is called as a... By Mundaka Pluti, by, by jumping like a frog it comes here. So that's one way to explain it. Here you have Khari, Visarjan is his sir. So when Khar follows, Khar later follows, what happens? That time, uh, the su complete sutra will read what? Visarjan is his sir, Khari. When a Khar letter follows, that time, Visarga will be replaced by, is to be replaced by Sakara. So here we already have this Visarga. Visarga which is followed by Khar letter. Chau is also included in, uh, in Khar. Therefore, Takara is a Khar letter. We already saw that. Now what will happen? Visarjaniyasya Saha Adesha Bhoti. Sakara Adesha Bhoti. Thereby you will get what? Chakrin Strayasva. This form which is given to Chakrin Strayasva or with an Anuswara or an Anunasika. So I will make this as optional. What is Aprashan? Aprashan Krim. Why Aprashan has been said? So when Prashan exists, what happened? Prashan Tanoti. The example given is Prashan Tanoti. Prashan Tanoti, Takara is a Khar letter. Khari, uh, not Khari, but Chau. It is a Chau letter. 
and what the uh, the sutra said nachavya prashan aprashan if had it not said aprashan then aprashan prashan nakara also would have been replaced by ru and here this prashan tanoti takara being a chav letter na, nakara being a padanta nakara prashan tanoti in that sandhi you would have got prasharu tanoti and then prashan tanoti but you don't get prashan tanoti you get prashan tanoti therefore aprashan has been said this nakara will not take a ru adesha why padasya has been said padasya had it this prashan the nanta nanta why is said nanta because otherwise what will happen is han plus tip han plus tip han nakara is not a padanta nakara it is a dhatu nakara that natu dhatu nakara han is not a prashan han is not prashan shabda therefore uh, nascha prashan nashchavi nashchavi aprashan would have applied had naha not been having padasya as an anuvrutti and thereby taken a padanta padasya so padasya there is an anuvrutti we have seen padasya there is an anuvrutti it's an adhikara padasya adhikara and thereby tadanta vidhi had applied yena vidhi tadantasya otherwise what would happen this han nakara would also become ru and thereby uh, some odd form like hausti ityadi you would have got but it is not hausti it is hanti why because han is not a padanta nakara han nakara is not a padanta nakara it is a dhatu nakara dhatvanta nakara so that ends this uh, this sutra next sutra is nrun pe nrun pe what does it say you look at 8310 8310 8310 is this sutra nrun pe so here this ubhayata ubhayata goes till 11 so you have nrun pe ubhayata Uh, not here sorry so here you have ubhayatha from the earlier sutra nrun pe what is nrun pe here also nrun is nrun is this uh, you see it as a form of uh, it is a uh, nru shabda in nru shabda plural of nru shabda in dvitiya dvitiya bahuvachana you will get nrun so that nrun here is not dvitiya bahuvachana but here what is it it is actually lupta shashti nirdesha it is lupta shashti nirdesha and you will get here although nrun itself lupta shashti, as in nrun itself is what itself a dvitiya bahuvachana form but how do you decline a dvitiya bahuvachana form dvitiya bahuvachana form itself is declined but how do i say say i have to say this particular form with a shashti if i had say the shashti ek vachana you add here how do you decline that so in sutrakara wants to talk about the dvitiya bahuvachana form that nrun kind of form should be following uh, sorry should be there in the sandhi so to say that he uh, uses a lupta shashti nirdesha and keeps it in the form as nrun in the sutra this is what is called a lupta shashti nirdesha so is shashti ek vachana and pe is is saptami ek vachana which means uh, where akara in pe like rame rame akara is not uchcharanartha but here pe akara is uchcharanartha pakara is the meaning when uh, pakara follows meaning what it could have very well been run p but for some reason he kept as run p the way it uh, is chanted or for some reason we do not understand what is in the mind of panini maharshi we understand through sampradaya that what he has made we have to understand How, why he did it is not uh, ours to question we can say that maybe if i had authored it i would have done it this way okay you may have done it this way but we don't have the complete picture of how uh, panini muni thought so we say that pe akara there is uchcharanartha and nrun is lupta shashti nirdesha what happens nrun pe kim bhavati 
एट थ्री टेन वेल विद इन ट्वेल्व देर फोर रू इज दि आदेश उभयता रू भवती रू आदेश भवती वॉट एल्स इज देयर इन दैट सो फ्रॉम मतु असो रू हू रू हैज कम डाउन इट गोज टिल ट्वेल्व सो वॉट हैपन्स दिस पे पे दिस पद से ऑल्सो विल टेक चेंज इन फॉर्म एंड तदंत विधि तदादि विधि अप्लाई सप्तमी इज देयर सो वॉट विल इट विल इट बी दि नृ इत्य रूर्वावती रूर्वा पे सो हियर वा इज ऑल्सो कमिंग वॉट इज दैट वा सो उभयता एज मीन सेट सो उभयता हियर उभयता इज अनदर वे टू से सो इन बोथ वे सो बोथ वेज मीन सॉट वा विभाषा इट इज अ विभाषा देर फोर इसे इज वा इंस्टेड ऑफ उभयता इसे इज वा पे पकार आदि पे पकार वेन पकारा फॉलोज पकारा फॉलोज इज वॉट पकार आदि शब्द फॉलो सो हियर उभयता पदस्य विल चेंज टू पदस्य विल चेंज टू पदे इट विल पदे सप्तमी एक वचन इट एंड देयर बाय दिस पदे एंड पे आर इन सामनादिकरण वॉट विल हैपन देन सो इंस्टेड ऑफ तदंत विधि तदादि विधि विल अप्लाय दिस षष्टी अर्यर दिस षष्टी एक वचन वेंट विथ दि स्थानी एंड देयर बाय नांत से वी गॉट हियर दिस पद से विल बिकम पदे एंड पदे इन रून इज पदांते सॉरी पदे पे विल बी पकारांते पदे सॉरी पकारांते पदे इफ यू अप्लाय तदंत विधि नाउ वॉट है Uh, where did you lose me can you hear me now can you see the screen uh, i don't know uh, till uh, when could you hear the last thing you heard So I was saying this rune pay. You saw that this pay is in samana dikran with pade. Was that clear? Yeah. Okay. So padasya has become pade, and uh, pade is in now in samana dikran with pay and not with rune. Therefore, uh, padante pakare it would be would have been had ye na vidhi sadanta se applied, but there. apavada is there that uh, uh, instead of tadanta vidhi you apply tadadi vidhi because it is in saptami and it is a al it is an algrahana algrahana is there therefore yasmin uh, without uh, so uh, uh, yena vidhi sadantasya uh, because it is an uh, yasmin without i forgot the vartika now algrahana is there thereby tadadi vidhi येन विधि सदन तस्मिन अलविद सॉरी आई कांट रिकॉल दि स्ट्रेंजली आई कांट रिकॉल दि वार्ति का जस्ट सेकेंड येन विधि सदन तस्म मोमेंट यस्मिन येन विधि सदन तस्के कम टू मी लेट्स अल I'll, 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 I'll wait till it comes. Okay, uh, let's move forward. I'll, uh, I hope you remember Tadadi Vidhi anyway. Since 
there is an al grahana it is mentioned by with an al with a single letter pakara and in saptami that time uh, there is an apavada to yena vidhi tadantasya thereby tadadi vidhi tadadi vidhi is, uh, is applied and you will get what pakaradi pakaradi uh, pakaradi will apply there and thereby you will get what you will you will get this nrityasya rurva pe this is pakaradi not when only pakara is there pakaradi shabda is there what is the example that he takes nrun pahi because nrun shabda has to be there in dvitiya bhuvachana so dvitiya bhuvachana form of nru shabda is nrun so example here take the taken is what nrun sorry nrun nrun pahi so it can be he chakrin trayasva similarly he chakrin nrun pahi protect the people protect the people this is the prayer so nrun pahi what will happen pakara adi pada is there therefore pakara is following pe and nrun shabda is there so nrun pare nrun ityasya rurva pe pare so this nakara here this nakara will take ru adesha thereby what will happen now you will get nru ru ru will be the adesha there nru ru which is repha nru 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 will be the uh, and since it is within this uh, 12 sutra ru in this ru prakarana therefore you will also get the form either you will get anunasika or you will get or you will get what anuswara ahi so these are the two forms what will happen now so again same issue this uh, refa refa will become what when it is followed by pakara pakara is what pakara is the first of the class so it is uh, it's a khar letter it is a so kharavasane or visarjaniya therefore ru will become visarga now so we will get nruns we will get visarga ru or very difficult to type these uh, nru with a can't even pronounce so during derivation you can't pronounce pahi now what happens here this will become nruns uh so actually wait uh, visarga uh, visarga is expected here that's why he uh, so visarga is uh, vis- visarga after visarga sakara is expected because from what we have seen till now now he introduces the next sutra he introduces next sutra as kupok of poucha kupok of poucha Uh, it is difficult to see what this is this is juha mulya i can't type it these are ardha chandras uh, which are marked as juha mulya so how how do you go wok wok so it will be that juha mulya will be the pronunciation before a kakara or a pakara so visarga will not be replaced by sakara it will not even re- remain visarga it is not replaced by visarga it is not replaced by sakara what happens to that visarga which is following which is follow which is followed by a kakara or a pakara here the situation is pakara what will happen he says it will become jivha mulya he says kapo ho kapo is what saptami dvivachana when a kakara or a pakara uh, kapo not kakara or pakara ku or pu what are ku and pu ka varga or pa varga letters when a ka varga letter or a pa varga letter follows follows what You look at the anurutti in 8337. In 8337, 8337 says what? Can you see the uh, astadhyayi? Are you able to see the astadhyayi here? yes no i am assuming you can see the astadhyayi 
after the uh, application crashed, I shared it, but I am I am not sure whether I have shared the screen. So see, this is the symbol for Jivha Mulya. Jivha Mulya symbol is uh, this symbol, which I can't type there. So kupo kappo ucha, when a kakka varga or a pa varga follows, letter follows, follows what visarga, then this visarjaniya, visarjaniya goes to 36 here visarjaniya, visarjaniya se visarjaniya, but 50, 54 we have visarjaniya se, visarga se tiyartha, visarga se, so visarjaniya se here, visarjaniya se, for a visarga what is the adesha, that is the stani, when ka varga or a pa varga letter follows a visarga, then for a visarga what are the adesha, uh, jivha mulya ka or jivha mulya pa. So kaf paucha, kaf pau is prathama jiva chana. These are the adeshas respectively. Respectively and cha is kaf paucha. So this is the adesha. So what is the uh, laghurutti saying ka varge pa varge cha pare visargasya visarjaniyasya meaning visargasya ak. Ak is the pronounce ak or Ak is as in not ak. If a precedes ak, if e precedes ik, if u precedes uk, that kind of pronunciation will come. Uh. So jivha mulya is the staha. Kafpo adesha staha. Chad visarga. And what is he saying? Chad visarga means what? Chakara. Because this chakara, chakara brings down visarga also. You see in the sutra part, ha? visarga. Cha is mentioned. Why cha? Cha will bring down this visarga also. Visarga is also is the adesha. Therefore, he says, chad visarga ha, either you will get this. Uh, so, there, there are typos here. It should be drun pahi or here these are the adeshas. So how do you write this? I just want to explain this. Let's let's make it this way. So either you get these these adeshas, okay. So forms are what uh, here. Nun pahi, you got these two forms. Now what happens is that this. Visarga will take uh, Jivha Muli Adesha. Thereby these, these are the forms that you will get. These are the, uh, this Nakara does not seem to be right there. Let me check. Sure, yeah, Visarga Jivha Muli Okay, I'll cross check this. I don't see this. Uh, this may well be a typo. Let me check in another book. I don't know what you guys have. Uh, Rune Pai, okay. Uh, so there are five forms, not four. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll confirm this again, but uh, for now keep these uh, uh, four forms given here. I'll just correct it and I'll confirm in the next part huh, whether um, fifth, there are five forms in the book. This list four forms, this I'm not sure about, I'll check this, cross check this, but you should get these these forms. So either you should get a Jivha Mulya or a Visarga, Vibhashaya. I don't know about this uh, form here. I'll cross check and let you know what are the forms here. See since uh, Jivha Mulya is difficult to type here, 
it is uh, uh, these forms these four forms that we see here these are the four forms but this fifth form here that we see in rune pahi i'll confirm what uh, how this remains in rune pahi uh, yeah uh, sorry sorry uh, it's right so that's the fifth form not the fourth form because what have we said ubhayata we have said ubhayata here so by ubhayata you don't take room at all so that's the paksha there you don't take room at all then you will not, neither get this uh, anuswara nor uh, you will get a anunasika so anunasika or anuswara with that you will get two forms in which one is uh, so here you will have a visarga visarga here or you will have a visarga here so either so what are the five forms you get a visarga as in uh, these two sorry not pa here so these two forms are very clear i suppose because they are only visargas with an anuswara or an anunasika prasiddhi and if you take ru and take this this uh, uh, chakara you take this uh, jivha mulya form you will then you will get jivha mulya so rum pahi rum pahi or uh, these two with visarga ruh pahi ruh pahi or if you don't take ru at all by ubhayata you take rum and do not make this ru at all so it will remain as it is rum pahi that's all and generally that's what we see when we say in rum pahi we will not even think about these sutras so not used in uh, laukika prayoga you generally don't see this usage thereby uh, this section the sutra and this section is almost over there are a few more sutras for kan now for kan i'll just cover this tasya param amreditam tasya param amreditam this sutra says what how many sutras are there i'll just mention it we'll uh, do it uh, further because there is a there are a couple more sutras we'll do in the next part ha huh? but uh, I'll just cover this tasya param amreditam. Amreditam is a sanya. This is a sanya sutra which says tasya, tasya kasya. When dvitam is there, sarvasya dve. Uh, generally, uh, uh, in many situations, we utter the uh, words twice. So let's say you you say that who all came, or uh, not who all came. Uh, let's say you say serve uh, serve food to these people. So you have a question. who all should i serve how do you say who all should i serve or who all should i feed you will say kan kan who all means kan kan in uh, ditya bhu vachana kan kan uh, so if you say or uh, say the take, taking uh, this earlier pahi run pahi so if you say hey rajan you are talking to uh, raja you say hey rajan run pahi now the raja as kan kan uh, uh, pahi iti uktam kan kan so their kan kan is at who all when you say kan kan that time in kan kan that reduplication sarvasya dve when you there is not reduplication there is a double utterance when there is a double utterance then tasya in that double utterance what happens he it is said tasya param param as in the second utterance get the sanya of amreditam amreditam is a sanya so dviruktasya param amreditam param is next second virukta se when there is utterance twice say kan kan in that kan kan second kan utterance is called as amreditam amreditam is amreditam syat means amreditam sanyam syat then kan amridite kan amridite is the next sutra which says kan amridite what happens kan nakarasya kan nakarasya ruhu syat amridite amridite means when amridita follows so in kan kan second is amridita and when second kan follows then the first kan nakara takes ru adesha that's what it means and that ru will take uh, uh, visarga adesha visarga will take sakara adesha not optionally nitya by the vartika uh, sum uh, sampunkana so vaktavya thereby sakara it will become and you will get these two forms with an anunasika or an anuswara thereby these two forms you will get kan kan or kan comes kan that's what it means we'll uh, cover this in detail i just wanted to complete that uh, vartika thereby uh, two more minutes so kan amridite a lot mark this as so uh, this will cover these two sutras and we'll see the following two sutras before we finish the hal sandhi and 
land in Visarga Sandhi. Not very important sutras, these are uh, very uh, rare, uh, um, these words are very rare, but for completion, since we are looking at the uh, process of Lagu, how the Lagu Prakriya works, we are being uh, trying to be as accurate as possible and although they are not important, we are looking in detail. If we do not, uh, understanding is important, if we do not remember it is okay because very rarely we will come across these and uh, most of these remain optional. Vrtavasane nataraja rajo nana dhadakkan nava panchavaram udhar tukama sanaka disidhane tadvimarshe shiva sutra jalam. Om Tatsat.